dealing with men, you know, it's very important how, for me, how I accessorize myself because I want to come off still uh, projecting that I am still a man and not trying to be anything other than well, just Well, if that. you're going to dress this way, body language is very important. And not only body language, uh -huh. but you being secure with your self. Have you ever been attacked physically by no. somebody say, hey, no. yo, faggot, and no, somebody coming no, on here or no. something? No, no one has ever called me that. Really? No, oh. no one no one has ever called me that. Oh. Now, I'm not saying that they haven't thought about it, <laughs> but I don't carry myself in that matter. Right. You know, I'm... So, they, so they, they just, I'm going to make a sick joke here, they may just think you're a fancy pimp. <laughs> Well, they don't but an even, elegant one. An elegant they don't even think time. that I'm a pimp because pimps don't dress if like you work this. in couture, which means handmade clothing, handmade, right? Handmade. I mean, if someone was crazy over that scarf and the, wanted to buy it, if I was it, going to sell this particular scarf, yeah, I probably would go probably like maybe uh, three, three, three to four hundred dollars. Uh -huh. But getting scarf. going, getting back to the outfit, it just shows what you can do with fabric because when that's all it is it's fabric and my whole thing is an imagination and yeah, style and, and imagination and style and confidence in yourself and loving yourself enough to be able if one wants to criticize you to be able to say well thank you for the compliment and keep it moving but now you told me that you go down the street and like coming over here today on transit workers or construction workers or somebody just, you know, started complimenting you. Hey, yeah, I mean, what, I, what did they I, say? I, I went for instructions and they so busy looking at the outfit, <laughs> you know, they, 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 were, they were so sweet about it. Uh, before I could leave, they would tell me. But you have to admit that when you first walk up, because you, you create an impression, and frankly, the look is fabulous, but it also, in another way, is sort of startling. So there's that moment where they say to themselves, is this a Looney Tune or is this somebody? Because you look like you could be either one until you open your mouth and we see you are somebody. Well, it's the, the thing of it is, Randy, is that it's not every day that you see this look. I don't know. That's why it's I invited you over. It's not every day. It's not right. every day that you see this look. So right. when people do see it, right, they admire it, they right. love it, and then they compliment me. And sometimes people ask. Do me, women do it more than men? When I go out dressed up in some of my fashions, it's the women that really give me all the compliments. Well, I, to be totally honest with you, I get it from both. Really? Equally or the women I, yeah, more? Yeah, pretty equally. Really? I get it from a lot of European men. Oh. I get it from a lot of European men, but American men as well. They always give me a compliment. I saw a guy in some fabulous color, colored suit. It was orange or something. I said, where did you get that fabulous suit? He yeah. said, I bought it in Italy. Over in Italy, they have some color in men's fashions. I oh, said, yeah. man, that is a beautiful suit. I oh, wish yeah. I could get one here. Yeah, well, well Italy and places like right. that. They're a little bit more uh, fashion conscious. Right. And a little freer in their color, you and know, like men are freer they're, to they're be more, more glamorous. And they're, and they're comfortable. Right. My whole There's thing a... is, I feel that it is so important that men learn how to come out of that box. Oh. And what has happened is that we have to understand our parents had a lot to do with that, especially mm -hmm. our fathers. Because our fathers wanted us to go out and play basketball, wanted us to go out in many years. And I remember my father telling me, he told me, he says, Phil, you're going to be a little sissy when you grow up. And at the time, I didn't even know what sissy meant. But he wanted me to climb trees, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do interior decorating. I wanted the mm -hmm. house to be nice and clean. I wanted right. to wash the dishes. Right. And then when I, I also remember when I was a child that I wanted to dress. I wanted to dress different in a way where 
not only I can appreciate it, but other people can appreciate it as well. So you've been doing this for how many years? I've been doing it over 30-something years. I'm 52 wow. years old, and I've been doing really? this Really? 52? Over, yeah, and I've been doing this over, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it's my strength. It's my, I call it my strength. It's my mm -hmm. strength. It's kind of like uh, the mask, the movie The Mask. Uh -huh. You know, when you put the mask on, he becomes uh -huh. this, this, this I mean, person. as I was walking here, so many people just looked at me, just looked at me. And some people want to compliment you, but they don't know how. And some people want to compliment you, and they think that you're going to be kind of snobbish about it. But uh -huh. that's something about me. I am very humble. When someone gives me a compliment, I uh -huh. usually walk back to them and tell uh -huh. them, thank well, you know, the you. thing about it, what I've learned, Randy, in terms of dressing up, I've learned that women would love to see their men step out of the box a little bit. Here, here, I agree. They would love to see that. But men, are, they, you know, they wear flip-flops, and that's about as, 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 as feminine as they're going to get. It took them a long time to wear flip flop, but they need to understand. <laughs> I didn't that, know that, really. Yeah, it took a long, yeah, but they need to understand. If you look at the the Hercules movies, uh -huh. you look at Ben Hur, you will see that they not only wore flip flops, but they wore sandals that came all the way up their legs, right. and they wore skirts, and they wore big, big, bold jewelry. Big, and was very, very. Do you masculine. know that the samurai, the samurai warriors in Japan, yes, ancient yes, Japan, yes. actually even wore makeup and had painted faces yes. and wore very bright costumes and had the sharpest sword that would cut you in half with yes. one swipe. Exactly. And they didn't equate, exactly. they didn't have the same so, standards, yes, you know? So your fashion really should not define who you are. And arranging flowers was considered to be a male art. In Japan, I think it's charming. The yeah. samurai considered the art of arranging flowers was yeah. equally important—not only but equally important to chopping somebody up, but yeah. Yeah. you know, an important yeah, art to master. But, but, but I think that your fashion should not really define who you are. I don't dress this way to get attention. I dress this way because it's a passion of mine, and it's also a gift that the spirit has given me, and I want to celebrate, and I want to share it with others. And how, I was you found the hat. Uh -huh. today because I wanted to wear it. I wanted to test it out and see right. what it was going to be like. If it was right. gonna be warm, you know, right. what kind of compliments I right. was going to get right. on it. And it's been all good. 